pray together. Gracious God, you're always faithful in your love for us, and we rejoice in your presence. You create love and unite us in one human family. You offer your word and lead us in life. You open your loving arms and embrace us with strength. This afternoon, we pray for a blessing upon Gregory and Rebecca. May the power of your spirit sustain them and all of us in love that knows no end. Amen. Amen. to share with you a reading of scripture that will probably be familiar to many of you uh, from 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in human or angelic tongues but do not have love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all out of this <laughs> to the poor, and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love. I gain nothing. Quick run for the rings. <laughs> it's a good thing to remember. Good, to me. Good, to me. So it's a good time to say love is patient. <laughs> love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others, nor is it self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. We know in part as we prophesy. see only a reflection in a mirror, but then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Gregory and Rebecca, you are young today at this point of commitment, but you've already had many chapters in your life. And I want you to take a moment to look those who have come to affirm this moment and this commitment and their support of you and recognize that there are many chapters ahead of you, many stages of life, uh, and these people will be here to support you in the days ahead and in the years ahead as your life changes. And so though this is a moment in time, it's a moment of deep commitment and it's a moment where we share your rejoicing and your love. I want to read to you a uh, poem by Wendell Berry called The Dance. I would have each couple turn, join and unjoin, be lost in the greater turning of other couples, woven in the circle of the dance, the song of a long time flowing over them, so they may return, turn again into themselves out of a desire greater than their own, belonging to all, to each, to the dance and to the song that moves them through the night. What is fidelity? To what does it hold? The point of departure or the turning road that is departure and absence and the way home? What we are and what we were once are far estranged. For those who would not change, time is infidelity. But we are betrothed until death and married to change. By silence, so I learn my song. I earn my sunny fields by absence once and to come. And I love you as I love the dance that brings you out of the multitude in which you come and go. Love <laughs> changes, and in change is true. Now would you step forward to each other to have a step? Thank you. I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter the covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this relationship, whatever the future may hold. Gregory, will you have Rebecca to be your wife, and will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? And so say, I will. I will. And Rebecca, will you have Gregory to be your husband, and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? And so say, I will. Would all that are
Speaker present and able, please stand. I ask you to <laughs> pledge your support and encouragement to the covenant commitment that they are making together. If you do, would you please say, we do. We, we do. do. All right. Woo! Yeah. Woo! God of our mothers and fathers, hear our pledges encouraging and supporting this union. Bless us as we offer our loving support to their marriage, and bless them as they pledge their lives to each other. With faith in you and in each other, may this couple always bear witness to the reality of the love which we witness today, and may their love continue to grow, that it may be a reflection of your love for us all. Amen. Amen. Now, you may be seated. to love and sustain you in the covenant of marriage from this day forward in sickness and in health in plenty and in want in joy and in sorrow as long as we both are well I give myself to you Rebecca, I give myself to you to be your husband I promise to love and to sing. I promise to love and to sing. <laughs> In the covenant of marriage. In the covenant of marriage. From this day forward. From this day forward. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. As long as we both love it. As long as we both love it. Now may I have those rings. Gregory and Rebecca, you have committed yourselves to each other in a joyous and sacred covenant. Be merciful in all your ways, kind in heart and humble in mind. Accept life and be patient and tolerant with one another. Above everything else, be truly loving. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for your love that lives within us and calls us from loneliness to companionship. We thank you for all who have gone before us for countless parents whose names we do not know. We thank you for our own parents and for all, whether married or single, who have been mother or father to us. We ask that you bless Gregory and Rebecca, that they may have the grace to live the promises they have made. Defend them from all enemies of their love. Teach them the patience of undeserved forgiveness. Bring them to old age rejoicing in love's winter more fully. Amen. Now may we all go in peace in the power of the Spirit which has gathered us here. That wasn't long enough. I missed it. Gregory and Rebecca Serdic. Yeah.